Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to address a small problem you might encounter if you are running graphical Linux applications on the Windows subsystem for Linux on a high on a device with a high definition screen. Here I'm running Firefox for Linux uh, on my Microsoft Surface device and as you can see it's very very small compared to the Windows version of Firefox so it's barely not readable. The reason is that the Linux applications are not scaled. They are not scaled for, um, according to the Windows setting here. Uh, sorry, my Windows is in German here, but as you can see, uh, it's now scaled to 175%. And this is why the Firefox for Windows is scaled correctly, but the Linux version is not. Okay, how to fix it? Okay, first of all, all I describe here in this video is also available in this blog post. Just click the link below the video description and here you can also find the necessary settings we are going to make in this video. Okay, we need to create a configuration file in the following folder here. In C, Program Data, Microsoft, WSL. And this folder directory is not writable by the normal user. You need admin rights to write a config file to that folder. In order to do that, well, let's start uh, the editor notepad from Windows. And the important thing is run it as administrator. You need admin rights. Okay, once you have done that, select save and navigate to our folder here. C program data Microsoft WSL. And then we switch here to all files. And the file name is, you can copy it here from our website, wslgconfig. Paste it in here and hit the save button. And now the config is now saved in the folder. And the next step is to add the following setting here. Just copy it here from our website and paste it in our editor. And the entry is system distro env. Western RDP disable fractional high DPE scaling is set to false. So don't type it, just copy it from our website. Hit the save button and well, that's it for the config file. The config file is now in the folder and now we have to restart the subsystem for Linux. How we do that? Well, we go to the start menu and start a PowerShell. Important, also we need to run this at, as administrator. Okay. Here it is. And now you just type in WSL space minus minus shutdown. And this will restart the Linux subsystem for Windows. And once we have done that, we can close uh, the, the PowerShell and also this folder here. And now we can start our Linux environment again. So I will start the terminal here. Then I will start my Ubuntu. And all we need to do next is start our Linux application. Okay, let's start with a small sample here. Let's start xcalc. And, and here it is. Here's our calculator. And I also started Firefox in parallel. And as you can see, now it's scaled correctly here. And it's shown like our Windows uh, counterpart here with the same resolution. That's how you can fix these... Uh, visualization of your graphical Linux applications in the Linux subsystem if you're running it on a high definition screen of scaling. And well, it's very nice to run Linux application in Windows directly. As you can see, they are basically just Windows in Windows. And uh, the Firefox logo is here and it's uh, with a small penguin here. And then you can see that this is basically a Linux application. So I find this quite nice. It's a little bit slow, but this, um, well, my Surface device is not the fastest. So, well, that's it. Goodbye.